Josh from Waller Equipment. Today we're in a Wacker skid loader with a deluxe display and I'm going to go over some of the adjustments that you can make through this display. Uh, in this case it will be the speed settings. So up in the top right corner you will see two different percentages. The one on the left is the percentage of uh, maximum machine speed. The, it limits it by 51%. On the right, it is 100%. The difference between the two, on the left side, it is uh, only in effect when snail mode is activated. And on the right, it is um, all the time. So even if you're in uh, your high two speed, that will be limited by whatever percentage is shown in that box. So, in order to change that, we go down to our left joystick, we have our buttons on the left are going to control our speeds. So in normal operation, this top button, when pressed, will toggle between turtle and rabbit mode. If you press the bottom button for about two seconds, it brings us into snail mode. When you're in snail mode, you can actively change this percentage 3% increments all the way from 3% to 97% using these two buttons. The upper button goes up 3%, the bottom one goes down 3%. And as long as you're in snail mode, um, anytime you press those buttons you can change that percentage on the go. So if you're using it for something like a rototiller, um, brush cutter, um, uh, planer, anything like that where you want to be able to um, adjust your maximum speed on the go, you can adjust that. Now one thing to note, um, you do need to have it in snail mode and the park brake needs to be off, which brings us to our overall speed limiter. We reactivate our parking brake, our light comes on, we go over to our controls on the left and we hold down the bottom button for three seconds one two three and there it starts to flash we adjust it the exact same way the bottom button brings us down three percent the top button brings us up now this range is from 64 percent at the bottom end up to 100 percent at the top end as a side note, we have seen in some instances um, the computer has reset itself to 64%. I believe it's usually in cases where there's a low cranking voltage, maybe at a low battery when, uh, when you're starting it in the winter time or something like that. And you may find that this resets itself to 64%. So this would be the same procedure to set your speed back to 100% if that is where you want to operate the machine. Uh, this feature is really handy if you have inexperienced operators. Um, it just These machines are very quick and this will slow down. Now this is the drive portion of the machine that we are controlling, not the other hydraulic functions of the loader. Uh, but you can uh, set that and th that will stay in the memory of the machine. Um, to lock that in, we're going to just unlock our machine, our park brake. And you will see when I do that, we stop flashing. You will also notice when the machine is cold, the hydraulic temperature is uh, below 60 degrees. The a machine will show a snowflake and that will be limited to 64% until the hydraulics warm up over that 60 degrees. Uh, the snowflake will automatically go away and it'll go back to whatever you had preset. So whether that was 100% or anywhere between that 64 and 100, it'll go back to your previous setting. I believe that covers our speed control. Again, that is our two buttons here. So to recap, top toggles our two speed, the bottom activates our snail speed, and when we're changing, we go up by 3% or down by 3%.